the Breakfast Club, bitches. Donkey of the day. When Charlemagne the God. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. Uh, donkey of the day for Wednesday, January 16th. Goes to a 30-year-old man named Brian uh, Dwayne Stewart. Okay? Uh, listen, Florida, I promise y'all. I don't wake up in the morning and go out seeking the craziness that exists in Florida. Long before the TV show Atlanta introduced y'all to Florida, man, your Uncle Charlotte has been on this radio telling you that the craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. I promise you, Florida is an alternate universe, and the only people who think what happens in Florida is normal are people from Florida. All crazy people in Florida's favorite phrase is, we ain't crazy. Okay, well, explain this. Now, my grandmother always told me that manners will take you where money won't. In fact, I believe that one of the things that keeps me mentally strong, can keep anyone mentally strong, is to be kind. All right, treat people the way you want to be treated. I truly believe kindness is the key to life. In fact, if I had to tell people my seven keys to life, they would be God first, love one another, never hate, give generously, live simply, forgive quickly. Uh, I'm still working on that one. I'm a petty cancer. And the seventh, which I think is extremely important, is to be kind always. Okay, Mark Twain said that kindness is the language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Okay? The great poet and Islamic scholar Rumi said, Your acts of kindness are iridescent wings of divine love, which linger and continue to uplift others long after you share it. Okay, I repeat, kindness is the key to life. All right, in case you people still don't know what the definition of kindness is, let me give it to you. The definition of kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. That is the definition of kindness everywhere on this planet except for Florida. See, in Florida, when someone says they will kill you with kindness, they may mean it literally. Let's go to CBS 4 Miami for the report, please. A Milton, Florida man is now behind bars charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. According to investigators, Brian Stewart was arrested after threatening to kill his neighbor with kindness. Kindness is the word written on a machete owned by Stewart. Mm -hmm. The Pensacola News Journal says Milton cut the man with a machete. The victim suffered a half-inch cut on his hand. Okay, I need you to play that news clip once again. I just need to make sure I heard what I heard, and I need to make sure everybody else heard what they just heard. A Milton, Florida man is now behind bars charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. According to investigators, Brian Stewart was arrested after threatening to kill his neighbor with kindness. Kindness is the word written on a machete owned by Stewart. The oh, Pensacola boy. News Journal says Milton cut the man with a machete. The victim suffered a half-inch cut on his hand. Only, only in Florida. <laughs> okay, uh, Flo Florida, there is a quote, and that quote, when someone tries to bring you down, kill them with kindness. That don't mean name your machete kindness. Mm. That don't mean name your gun kindness. Mm -mm -mm. Your poison that you may put in that drink, don't call that kindness either. Don't call your blunt object that you might use to kill somebody kindness. Don't nickname your hands kindness and strangle someone. That's not what kindness is. That's not how this kindness thing works. Now he's in jail with aggravated assault and aggravated battery charges, and he has a $10,000 bond. Uh, some donkey of the days just sell themselves. Please give Brian Dwayne Stewart of Florida the biggest hee-haw. And you know, guys and gals, uh, I think this story requires a quick game of Guess What Race It Is! All right. Now, yes, you got your context clues, don't mm -hmm. you? Yes, I do. His name is Brian Dwayne Stewart. Brian is spelled with a Y. Oh, uh, he, that's how my brother spells his name. See, he's from Florida, mm. uh, and he named his machete kindness. Your brother is what, black and Caribbean and yes, he's, Asian, he's black. Asian, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, he named his machete kindness. So what is this man, Angela Yee, start with you? Well, of course I'm going to say he's black okay. from these clues. What the, plus, do we know it? What kind Dwayne. of black? What kind of name is Dwayne? Do I know? What kind of black do you think he is? Um, definitely sounds like he is machete name kindness. He's definitely West Indian. Machete. Machete. <laughs> okay. 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 Envy. Ask uh, me. Ask me. Uh, he's, he's from Florida. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brian Dwayne Stewart. Mm -hmm. Brian spelled with a Y. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and he named his machete kindness. Mm. What do you think this guy is? I say shout to Donovan, shout to Junior, shout to Carl. I say Jamaican. Stretch. Machete is Jamaican. Jamaican's not a race, but I understand, right? No, it's not but a race. But I understand what you're, you're saying. He's, he's Jamaican. Machete, he's Jamaican. Machete, he's Jamaican. Yeah, machete, machete, yeah, machete, yeah. All right. I got chased with a machete okay. before, but Jamaican. You have? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't get in on this one because I have the cheat code, but, uh, Angela, you says West Indian. Mm -hmm. Jamaican descent or just West Indian? Uh, Jamaican. It could be good. Jamaican! It could be Trinity. It could be Jamaican. Jamaican. Donovan! 
Okay, I Brian. My friend Donovan. Let's see. Let's figure it out. Brian Dwayne Stewart from Florida named his machete kindness. Guess what race he is? He is Caucasian. No, you're all wrong. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's no. Caucasian. You know what's no. crazy is that I read the story and saw the picture, but still the way you told the story. He's from the Caucasus Mountains. He didn't have a machete. Are you sure he's not from Jamaica? Yakub created him, ye. You, you sure he had a machete, not a knife? It was a he machete. Could be Caucasian, but he grew up in Jamaica. I don't know, but there was a machete. There was a machete. You don't know. A machete. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was wrong. Maybe he got Jamaican friends. <laughs> Maybe he got Jamaican <laughs> friends. I don't know. Maybe he dated a Jamaican woman and needed protection. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodness I gracious. With hedge clippers instead. Yeah, absolutely. Hedge <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh. God. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey of the day. Mm -hmm. I'm mad I didn't know. I didn't. I that might be didn't. the first one I got well, wrong. That's why you shouldn't stereotype. You said machete, though. That's, I said machete. That's Jamaican. And you kept playing the safari drop. Like, like machete's Jamaican. That's safari? I thought that was Buju. Straight! <laughs> Straight! Oh, that's safari? Don't you, <laughs> you know dare what? say that's you know what? Buju. You know what? Buju. You know what? Charlemagne the God here, and today's Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamonsoff. Don't be a donkey and call my friend Michael if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 212-962-1020. That's 212-962-1020. Don't be a donkey.